Hey everybody and welcome to episode 166 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Tuesday, yes, Tuesday, December 31st, 2013. Please do not adjust your YouTube screens or your computer monitors or your phone screens or however the hell you're watching this. There is no technical difficulties. I did get a haircut. <laughs> I'm sorry. Really lovely haircut. It's okay. It had to be done. My hair was getting all tangly and I didn't really know how to handle having long hair. You gave the girls. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. It was out of control. Out of control. The hair had taken over. You also did not hear me wrong. New books are out this week on Tuesday, December 31st. That is, of course, because Wednesday, January 1st, is a holiday. It's New Year's Day. So what a way to, uh, what a way to say goodbye to 2013 and with new comics. Everybody loves new comics, right, Ricky? Especially me. What's your New Year's resolution this year? Oh, man. Um, to get published, yes. To get published by, by someone other than yourself. Yeah. Even by myself, that's cool. But you've already <laughs> published stuff by yourself. More, some more. Some more stuff, okay. You know what my New Year's resolution is, Ricky? To teach you, or to have somebody teach you, how to properly open up a box what? on an episode of Unboxing Wednesday. I thought I was doing pretty good. No, man, I've been meaning to talk to you about this. There's been all kinds of problems with the way that you've been opening boxes lately. It really just isn't, isn't cutting it. I, I, in, in the literal sense, it's not cutting it. That's a good one. Yeah, I didn't even mean to do that. Um, but fear not, Ricky. As a, as a end of year gift to you, I've brought somebody in today that can show you how to properly take a box, open it up, and put the comics in on the shelf. Who, who is it? Well, who else other than original unboxer himself, Mr. Rob Sinnott. There he is, everybody. Rob! He's going to show you all how it's done. Go to work, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's done. <laughs> all right, much better, Ricky. Much better. Much better. All right, first up, the collectibles. We've got this in today. It's a current comic book showcase. Uh, this is really cool for showing off your works of art in comic book form. This hangs on your wall displays one comic book. These are only about $7.99, so they're really cool. Okay. We've got a previews exclusive repaint of the Harley Quinn pop hero figure. This one glows in the dark. And here we have a Clark Kent and Lex Luthor combo pack uh, from the chess collection, the DC, the Justice League chess collection. That's out right now. This is $38. Moving on to the collected editions, we have Transformers Regeneration 1, Volume 3. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, Volume 3. XO Manowar Volume 4. A collaboration between DC and 2080. It's the Batman Judge Dread Collection. Batman Arkham Unhinged Volume 2. And new and hardcover today, Arkham Unhinged Volume 3. Superboy Volume 3. New Avengers Volume 2 Infinity. And we also have this out today. It's previews magazine for comics and other merchandise arriving in stores starting in March 2014. And uh, what this means is you can expect some more previews, reviews from Ricky and I in the near future. Moving on to the smaller press books, we have Samurai Jack, issue number one. This is a second printing. Dead World Restoration, issue two. New series from Dynamite, it's Legendary, issue number one. This is a steampunk adventure. And there's a blank cover to go along with it. Also new from Dynamite is The Twilight Zone by J. Michael Straczynski. This is a book that has a lot of buzz right now. Awesome cover by Francesco Francavia. The first of Dynamite's Little Dynamite's books. This is Evil Ernie, but instead of the regular old Evil Ernie, he's now Little Ernie. This is a one-shot, and the cover's by Art Baltazar. And here is the subscription variant by our very good friend, Agnes Garboska. It's another Vertigo Essentials edition. This time it is American Vampire, issue number one, for only one dollar. Fables issue 136, Manhattan Projects number 17. Another $1 book, this time from Dark Horse, it's Conan the Barbarian. This is Brian Wood and uh, Becky Cloonan's run on the popular character. Sonic Universe issue number 59. Didn't miss that. Sonic Universe issue number 59, this is part one of four of Shadowfall. Atomic Robo, the Savage Sword of Dr. Dinosaur issue four of five. 
Here's Rocket Girl issue number three from Image Comics. Grim Fairy Tales number 92. True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys number six. Another one dollar issue from Dark Horse. It's Captain Midnight issue one. Executive Assistant Assassins number 17 has two covers. Here's G.I. Joe number 12. The Star Wars issue zero. The official guide to a different galaxy. Yes, you thought the Star Wars was only an eight issue series, but you were wrong. We've got this zero issue, which brings up the total to nine. Now this isn't necessarily a comic itself. It's more like reference material to the entire universe of the first uh, draft of the Star Wars script. So there's lots of uh, concept and character designs and uh, some artwork inside. Really cool if you're digging the series. Here's a one shot from Image Comics. It is Sin Boldly by Joseph Michael Linsner. You won't be finding that near any of the kids comics. Another one dollar book from Dark Horse. It's X, issue number one. Boom Studios reprints Paul Jenkins and Umberto Ramos' series Revelations from start to finish. This is issue number one of six. Here's Rachel Rising number 22. All New Soulfire number two has these two covers. Afterlife with Archie issue number two gets this awesome second printing variant cover. If you're not reading this comic, it's probably like the best thing that's ever come out in the history of everything. Especially the Stadium Comics uh, variant available at our web store, store.stadiumcomics.com. Dot com. Shameless plug for our variant cover, but this is a cool cover as well. And new from IDW, we have issue one of The Illegitimates. This uh, story is written by Saturday Night Live performer Taron Killam. Um, so check that out if you're a fan of his comedy. Okay, moving on to Marvel. It is a very light week from that company, uh, but don't worry. After two weeks of light weeks from them, of course, for last week, we just had the Avengers and Origin. And this week, we've only got about four books. You are absolutely going to get hammered by new comics next week if you are subscribed to any Marvel Comics books. Anyway, let's get us started with Guardians of the Galaxy, issue number 10. Savage Wolverine, number 13. Superior Foes of Spider-Man, issue number 7. And finally, New Avengers, issue 13, which is an Inhumanity tie-in. Alright, moving on to DC Comics. We first have Beware the Batman, issue number three. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, number nine. Green Team, Teen Trillionaires, issue seven. Larflees, issue number six. Jonah Hex, number 26. Aquaman, number 26. Here is the Aquaman variant. Talon, number 14. The Dark Knight, number 26. Here's the variant cover. Catwoman, 26, featuring the Joker's daughter. Teen Titans, number 26. Forever Evil Argus, issue number 3. Red Lanterns, number 26. Batwoman, number 26. The Menace of the Wolf Spider. Justice League Dark, issue number 26, is a Forever Evil tie-in. The Flash, issue number 26. New creative team on this book. Injustice Gods Among Us, issue number 12. Here's the action figure variant. <laughs> Superman, issue number 26, illustrated by the awesome Ken Lashley. Here is the Superman number 26 variant. Damien, Son of Batman, issue 3 of 4. And here's the variant. Adventures of Superman number 8. And then finally we've got Superman Unchained, issue number 5. Here is the combo pack cover. The Superman vs. Doomsday variant. The Modern Age variant. The Superman Reborn variant. Here's the Silver Age Superman variant. The Golden Age variant. And the Bronze Age variant. I just want to remind everybody that most of the comics you saw today are available the same day they're available in print through our digital web store powered by Comixology. Just head over to stadiumcomics.com and click on the links on the right hand side of your screen to visit our DC digital comic store and our store for all other publishers. Each time you buy a digital comic from uh, Comixology through our web store, a couple cents gets kicked back our way so we can afford things like the thousand dollars we paid for Rob to come in today and teach Ricky how to properly open a box. That's right. Commands a hefty price. Box opening is no small feat and it needs to be done by a professional. Don't try it at home. We got some prizes for you this week. We're giving out two prizes because of uh, the filming of the episodes in the same night. That's right, it was a crazy night. Um, so, for the first one was for Black Hole Hunters Club. You get all three copies of the book that I wrote and that Shane drew. 
um, we asked you guys what's a quick Christmas present and um, the Batman nerd said all I want for Christmas is a guest appearance by Rob that should be quick and easy for all the fans of Stadium Comics well you're in luck because Oh, yes. Congratulations, you got your gift, Mr. The Batman Nerd. Um, also, Epically Awesome Game said shaving cream. Yes, lots of shaving cream. I guess he's talking about us, because we need shaving cream. The, the winner goes to Prime Reviews, who said, Quick Christmas gift. Stop by the local lab. Get a bunch of chemicals. Douse yourself in them. Get hit by lightning. Bam! Speed Force for Christmas. Super quick Christmas gift. With your newfound speed, you can get all the Christmas gifts super fast. So congratulations, Mr. Prime Reviews. You get all three copies of Black Hole Hunters Club. Because I will be sending this uh, prize out. If you could just send an email to blackholehuntersclub at gmail.com with your address, I'll get the books out to you as soon as possible. And then uh, we go into last week when we asked you guys what your comics resolution will be and you could win a copy of the 2014 Marvel calendar. Uh, we got some pretty interesting answers. Mr. Uh, Tyler Norwood said to cosplay. I'm a big guy and most people yell at big people for wanting to be like their built superheroes but I want to show people that it's fun to cosplay and just be who you want to be. You're right, Mr. Tyler Norad. Forget these people who are all like, oh, you're not buff, you can't... You can be whatever you want to be, whenever you want to be. So you dress up what? You can dress up as Hercules? Huh? Do that. Dress up as Hercules. Mr. Cypher Jarhead said, just to keep buying more comics and to watch more Stadium Comics videos and hopefully get to visit the shop sometimes because I live in the UK. Well, it sounds like you're in for a road trip, Mr. Cypher Jarhead, because you're going to be coming down to Brampton and you're going to be reading all these comics with us. Um, but the winner goes to DeWood Ali, who said to read more indie titles. I know, I know some people might be saying, hey, Rick, you're a little biased on these indie titles. But I honestly think that indie titles are like the lifeblood of comics. Because a lot of these indie comic creators, they'll start off doing indie comics, go into like Marvel and DC, and like revolutionize everything. People like Jeff Lemire, Justin Jordan, uh, Scott Snyder, uh, Robert Kirkman, stuff like that. So I mean, reading more indie comics in turn supports Marvel and DC. So congratulations to Wood Ali. You win a Marvel 2014 calendar. Just send us your information. We'll get that out to you when we can. All right, everybody. That is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the guest appearance of our good friend Rob. Um, probably be about another year before you see him again. So relish this uh, opportunity you've been given. I hope everybody had a, a wonderful Christmas and holiday season. And I hope everybody has a really good New Year. Be safe. Don't get too drunk. You know, leave Done. the... Don't do a uh, Ricky Unboxing 100. Yeah, no. <laughs> Take Unboxing Wednesday's Issue 100 <laughs> as your uh, barometer as to when you know you've had too much. Just look at Ricky. <laughs> Make sure you don't drink and drive. Be very safe. Uh, enjoy the new year. Remember that you can connect with us on any of the websites you see listed here on the screen. And we'll see you all next time in 2014 for episode 167 of Unboxing Wednesdays. Take care, everyone. Enjoy your comics this week.